what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk brother Dwayne Wade is a controversial athlete an underrated I believe he's one of the best shooting guards of all time despite not being a great shooter a great athlete a great competitor in the NBA and most people don't have a problem with the way he played the game or even how he behaved as an athlete. I believe the problem with Dwayne Wade comes with the parenting of his now transgender daughter, Zaya Wade, formerly known as Zion Wade. And of course, with some of these transitions that we've seen from Zion to Zaya, it has caused the speculation of many comments, many that are positive, some that are not. And I believe that the photo that I'm dealing with here is this one in which you see uh, Zaya Wade looking completely uh, as a woman. Or, I mean, you could probably barely tell the difference. This is Zaya Wade now. And, and, and on this particular set of photos, there were a myriad of comments. And the name of the post that he put up there was dreams become reality now with with what happened with the comments that were coming and i'm not going to focus on any of them Dwayne wade has come out in defense of zaya wade and he said that in a tweet that he is going to turn off the comments and it says this for zaya's mental health and privacy we've decided not to allow the hate comments into our comments uh thank you for the for waiting to spread and show her love. So here's what I want to talk about today. And I'm not trying to say this to be me, all right? Because you know, you have a whole lot of people who get hate comments around the world. And I'm not saying that, you know, you, you should allow hate comments because you should not, right? But now I, I want to talk about um, the insecure actor who recently married a white woman. I believe the brother's name is uh, Jay something. I I'm going to figure out what his name is, right? When when he married that Caucasian woman, um, what ended up happening was he had to turn off his comments, all right? He had to turn off his comments because a lot of black women were upset that Jay Ellis married N N Nina Sinekar. So he turned the comments off. Here's the question that I have for both uh, 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 Dwayne Wade and Jay Ellis. If you felt that you could not take the responses of those comments, my question is to you and anybody, I don't care what your sexuality is. I don't care what your religion is. Why did you post it? Why did you post it? If that is such a problem for you, if, if you have to delete people or you have to block comments or you have to stop comments from coming in that you don't like, why did you post it? Because see, there are things that I know and there are even videos that I know that the controversial takes are so egregious to certain people, even though I think it's normal to me, I don't post it. Wanna know why? Because I don't want to hear what the comments are for fear of somebody coming after me or for fear of threats or for fear of whatever. Don't post it. There are plenty of people who are in interracial relationships, people who have political affiliations, people who are atheists, people who are Christians, people who are, who are Muslims, and, 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 and they don't post things because they don't need to, they're already happy. So then what are you trying to prove? It's my question. Because no matter how old Zaya Wade is, as long as you live in this life, people gonna have something to say about you. And usually, you're not gonna like it. Of course, you're gonna have people giving you outpouring support or fake love, sure. But this is life where people don't care. They don't care what you have to say. They don't like you. And I'm not by any way saying that you should take hateful comments from anybody because you shouldn't. But, as, but, 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 but what we're dealing with here is life. Is Zaya might be what, 13, 14? If, if that's the path of the lifestyle 
that that the, this, this young person decided to take for themselves, guess what? There are many people out there that have a problem with transgender situations. Just like they have people who are have a problem with those who talk against transgenders. All right? Both people can get equal criticisms. But if that's the life you're going to you're going to live for yourself, you're going to have to accept the good with the bad and accept the fact that people are not always going to have positive things to say because you have people out there who are living in the devout. And who are the devout? In my honest opinion, these are people who, for whatever reason that they think or feel that what a lifestyle is, is against my personal religion, personal beliefs. And again, I have a lot of respect for the devout, whether you be Christian, typically it's Pentecostals and certain Catholics, but you know, I'm the kind of person that if you want to live your life, I don't care what you want to do. I mean, I have people here in the African American community that live lifestyles much different than me. As long as you stay away from me, I don't care what you do. Have at it. God bless you. Let God keep you away from me. But everybody can't mind their business like me. You're going to have idiots out there that are going to say things. If, you, if you're a black man and you're dating a white woman, huh, guess what? You're going to get it from a lot of different people. Whites, black men, some of them, but usually black women. They don't call you all kind of names. You a sellout. You're this. You don't take care of your community. You run from your community. You're going to hear every excuse in the book as to X, Y, and Z. This is what you're going to hear. So my situation is, if you're a parent and you have a child that is living a controversial lifestyle to certain folks, whatever it is, it could be straight, it could be uh, uh, trans, it could be whatever it is. If you feel that it's that bad, that the child's self-esteem is going to be hurt. Don't post it. Don't post it. Okay. Because let me be honest with you. Most people are too busy to really care about your life. Simple as that. You're a guy you like to date overweight women, BBWs, skinny women. You want to date whoever. Most people will say they, they really don't care. If you don't want to hear what the world has to say, and if you're not to a position where you don't care what they have to say, then just don't post things on social media. You know, people are looking on social media to get validation, and then when they don't get it, then they have a problem not getting it. But social media, there is not one school of thought here. We're dealing with different people from different backgrounds who see the world completely different sometimes than you. And when I come here on, on the internet and I give up my views on my YouTube channel, guess what you have? A myriad of people who can't stand me come here every day, make up different accounts, usually they're broke, and they talk trash. And now, if, if, if I can't understand that I don't need to be on YouTube, it comes with a territory. So if you don't like what people have to say about you, don't put your business out there in today's world. That's how you deal with that. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. With another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains all time high. I'm out.